Hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. What I'm doing is tying up the blackberries to give them uh, more support as they grow because I want them to be really strong, um, rooted in the ground in case we get you know any high winds or blowing rains and stuff like that that may blow them over because these are the thornless blackberries that I got from my neighbor which grow blackberries about as big as your thumb. So they're really doing good and I actually have a new shoot coming out of a root that I thought wasn't going to take but it's about this high so it looks like every one that I planted is actually coming up it just took it a little bit longer but um, anyway I'm going to go ahead and get these tied up I was going to say that <clears throat> I'm going to have to go out of state uh, for a few days so what I'm doing is trying to get all the loose ends uh, tied up around the homestead here where I can be able to go so I do apologize if these videos may be a little bit more shorter than normal I'm gonna to try to get done this week what I can so that I can film that and uh, get it loaded up to YouTube but uh, appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with us up here while we're trying to develop uh, the homestead working on all the infrastructure here uh, so that we can become more self-sufficient
down to the bottom of the bucket now. I'm going to have to purchase another bucket. I think I bought this last bucket here when I was working on the siding on the cabin. Um, I did all the interior with it, what I've done outside with it. Well, it goes a long way. What I'm working on here is the base for the satellite, which this will go up top. This is going to be the upper platform. So I burned it as much as it would take and because it's still a little bit green and I'm going to seal it with this oil. So if this will dry by tomorrow. And they start working on that platform.
I think y'all remember not too many videos ago I went and picked up 92 of these plastic pellets they were given to me free um, they basically had machines arrive to a new company they unloaded them and basically were going to discard them and I didn't see the need of that but these 10 right here are promised to a new friend that I have made another youtuber who I really didn't know was as close as he is but he's only about an hour and 15 minutes away from here um, he's got a great channel he's very knowledgeable on wood and sawmilling and I'll tell you what he's got a, a sawmill compared to mine it's a dream sawmill mine's just a toy compared to his but go out if you haven't checked it already check out out of the woods on YouTube the guy's name is Nathan really down-to-earth guy I've really come to enjoy talking to him former uh, police officer detective who is now living on the farm documenting everything that he's doing on YouTube kind of like we are here I think that you guys would really enjoy it so go over there check it out if you like it hit the button subscribe and make sure and leave a comment and say hey Smoky Mountain Outpost sent us um, I'm going to be traveling up there uh, in the really near future checking out his operation that he's got up there he said something about wanting to come up here I think he's wanting me to cook for him so we, that's one reason I got that outdoor kitchen up and operational so that if he does pop in at any time we'll be able to throw some steaks on the grill and just make his tongue slap his brains out but uh, yeah these are promised to him so probably I don't know in a few days uh, I'll load them back up here we'll take the cameras run up there and check out his operation anyway guys thanks for stopping by we really do appreciate it my son my daughter myself we can't thank you enough for the support that you give us on both of our channels like i said be sure to go check out out of the woods guaranteed that you'll like it anyway y'all have a great day we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time